Some people like hitting the road, others enjoy being out in the water, but a Duluth businessman's unusual creation combines the best of both of these worlds. In the most unique way, in tonight's Maury's Stories, Maury Glover shows us a one-of-a-kind watercraft that is part truck and then part boat, but all fun. Yeah, but we have some pretty exotic equipment. As the owner of a trucking company, Jeff Foster knows his way around a semi. It has all the bells and whistles. But on a sunny summer afternoon on Lake Superior in Duluth, horns, light turn signals, trailer for he's trading the highway for the waterway. High beams, low beams. And giving the term cruise control a whole new meaning. It's really an amazing piece of equipment. Man of means by no means. I'm very proud of the boat uh, for a handful of reasons. Foster's eye-catching creation is a combination of a semi-truck and a pontoon. Unlike a traditional semi, there's no diesel engine under the hood. Only a 90-horsepower outboard motor off the back of the boat, which Foster says handles like a regular pontoon and can reach speeds up to 20 miles per hour. It's really interesting. It's the most interesting boat we, uh, we've we ever been able to be on. Foster says he takes his semi-pontoon out for a spin eight or nine times a summer. And at first, many people who see it don't know what to make of it. I, was, I literally thought I was going nuts, man. I'm looking down the channel like... The seaworthy semi is also a floating photo magnet. It's unique. It's a semi on the water. I mean, who would have thought? Making waves wherever it goes. The first thing you see is their camera up to take a picture, and the second thing, they get closer and everybody's going like this. And, you know, it's a universal signal for truck drivers to honk their horn. An employee at Foster's company came up with the idea after a video of another big rig pontoon hybrid circulated around the office. It took about nine months for workers at his body shop to put it together from the cab and hood from a pair of Peterbilt trucks and an old pontoon boat Foster bought from a friend, all as a team building exercise for his employees. Foster calls it a Peter tune. The reason I'm proud of the boat is the people that built it, the care and the precision that went into building it. Foster says it's been smooth sailing since his Peter tune made its maiden voyage five years ago, and he plans to keep on trucking on the water for the foreseeable future. <laughs> it's been fun. It's been fun for our business, our, 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 our employees, uh, our family. It's just been a unique experience and we've really enjoyed it. For Maury Stories, Maury Glover. <laughs> so if you see them on the water, don't forget the universal That's sign right. for the horn. That's what a great. great idea. 90 horsepower, no problem with that. It's yeah. just amazing. Way to go. <laughs>